In the middle of the desert in Southern California, where the temperatures can reach up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer, about 40,000 tons of mangoes per year. All this is possible due to modern farming techniques and modern technologies. Hello everyone, are you a mango lover? Let us know by commenting. Today we will go to a mango farm in Southern California to see how they cultivate and harvest this fruit. In the US, the modern cultivation of mangoes has advanced to the point that they can now be grown in temperate zones. Thanks to this, mangoes can now be grown in climates where it was previously impossible to do so. Farmers are also benefiting from the new technique in terms of increased mango production per tree. More fruits are being processed as a result of the tree's increased growth rate. In the past 10 years, irrigation control technology has also made a substantial contribution to mango crop management. The use of radial telemetry and smart sensing precision technologies, such as soil moisture sensors, and bore-level monitoring devices has enabled the automation of irrigation leading to greater efficiency by the decrease of inputs such as fertilizers, fuel, and labor. As a result, mango farming has become both more efficient and cost-effective, which is crucial in light of rising food prices and scarcity of available workers. Next tech used in farming these delicacies is handheld near-infrared spectroscopy, or NIRS. The mango fruit dry matter content may be established in a non-destructive manner using NIRS, as we know that all starch transforms to sugar. Thus measuring the dry matter level of fruit can give us an idea of how sweet it will be after it is matured. Amazing, right? This method has been validated as a reliable indicator of both harvest readiness and food safety. Speaking of the fruit itself, the time needed for a plant to mature from blossom to ripe fruit is influenced by the surrounding environment's temperature. That's where the heating unit comes in. Next tech used in farming these delicacies is handheld near-infrared spectroscopy, or NIRS. The mango fruit dry matter content may be established in a non-destructive manner using NIRS, as we know that all starch transforms to sugar. Thus measuring the dry matter level of fruit can give us an idea of how sweet it will be after it is matured. Amazing, right? This method has been validated as a reliable indicator of both harvest readiness and food safety. Speaking of the fruit itself, the time needed for a plant to mature from blossom to ripe fruit is influenced by the surrounding environment's temperature. That's where the heating unit comes in. Mango grafts of commercial kinds need to be planted closely together for the ultra-high density plantation method to work well. Instead of the standard 60 trees per acre, over 700 are planted on each acre. The UHDP approach increases yield per acre while concurrently decreasing water use. The result is the most efficient use of the available means, and ultra-high density. Orchards irrigation is especially important after pruning and during fruiting. Drip irrigation is a very efficient method of water conservation Mango orchards flourish when high-density planting is combined with cutting-edge techniques in pruning, fertigation, and watering. These new modern farming techniques and technologies in the United States allow for the annual harvest of hundreds of tons of mango. 
The evolution of agricultural equipment has resulted in greater productivity and less labor intensity. Every year, American farmers can bring in massive quantities of tasty mangoes because of modern technology. Mangoes are commonly harvested in the United States during April and June. That's when most mangoes are picked since that is when the fruit is at its peak flavor and texture. Ripe mangoes are hand-picked as the first step in the harvesting process. After being hand-picked, the fruit is then packed into boxes or crates and sent. Mangoes after being picked need to be rushed to a processing plant to be cleaned, grated, and packed as soon as possible. After all, you don't want the fruit to lose its taste. Mangoes can be processed into a wide variety of foods, including juices, jams, jellies, and even ice cream. So next time when you eat a mango, think about all the other ways this incredible fruit has found its way into your life. How do you feel about the cultivation and harvesting of mangoes in this video? Let us know what you think in the comments section of the video. And for now, I see you in the next video.